board. Basketball. Ah! Most of the stories in both the original film and this film are taken directly from your books, yeah. where you actually used the artwork as the storyboards. Uh, but you also wrote a couple of new stories for this mm -hmm. movie. Yeah. So, uh, well, first of all, what inspired that decision? Why not just take more from the original text? I just wanted it to be a little. The first one was so known for being so faithful and translating it. I thought. Let's surprise people, because now people became huge fans of Sin City that weren't before, that bought the books and everything. Mm -hmm. So we don't want everybody to already know what's going to happen. So let's let's have a couple stories we know we want to do, but then let's throw a couple of wild cards in, so people have to wait for the movie to even, you know, the suspense will be greater that way. You know, the first Sin City had the element of surprise. The second one wasn't going to have that, so we needed to be surprising in another way. And, uh, and then it was also fun just to create. I mean, imagine if we didn't do that, we wouldn't have Joseph Gordon-Levitt, we wouldn't have the Nancy story. Yeah. So creating new stories was, I thought, essential to just balance it out. And the Nancy story was really um, the next chapter in, in her saga. And uh, um, I had it planned for quite a while. Um, it, I, you know, talking to Je Jessica about it, um, at first I thought she'd be spooked by it, but instead she just tore into it and, and gave it her soul. In terms of um, the title story, A Dame to Kill For, mm -hmm. Eva Green, or Eva Green, um, she just seems so perfect in that role. Right. And was she like your the vision of Eva Lord, like your dream come true in that sense? Definitely. She became that. Definitely. She became, she became that. that. We didn't know she would was the one at first, and we took us a long time casting trying to figure out because no actress had ever done a role like that. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't just point at someone and said, oh, they did something like this in another movie, you know, nothing. So we had to just go on instinct and she, she was willing to do it. We talked to her, met with her. She came in, but we still didn't know until she put on the costume, got in front of the camera, we called action, whether or not it was the perfect fit and it was. And we were and, so and relieved. She showed such, um, such um, range of acting skills that she was able to play a part that was, was really multifaceted. Um, she has a different effect on every single man she meets. She changes personalities like we change shirts. And, and uh, but she was able to, to use her skill and, and her, her knowledge clearly of, of, of um, actors from previous generations to, to uh, convince us. Sin City's where you go in with your eyes open. Or you don't come out at all. <laughs>